What's up everybody? Mike McIntyre here back with a brand new video. These are the step, step, step. What the? In front of me, I have the Static 350 Yeezy Boost. These are the brand new release that just came out at the end of 2018. These were technically released on December 27th, but I have them here. I'm gonna do the review for you guys and show them off. This is the non-reflective pair. I really tried to get the reflective pair. They were selling for quite a bit on StockX. They had a pretty high resale value, but they were only available on Yeezy Supply, so I tried to get a pair, but unfortunately, I took an L. I wasn't able to get them. So I went for the non-reflective version. There were a lot more pairs of these and I was able to get a pair, which I'm stoked about. So I'll show you what these are inside. So let's get into the unboxing. Slip open the box, slide it open. Let's get these shoes out of the box. I think these look really good. Get both pairs out. There we go. So there's a look at the Static 350 Boost. Again, the non-reflective version, so they don't have the 3M weaved into the prime knit material like the reflective version does. Besides the 3M material, you really wouldn't know what the difference is between the reflective and the non-reflective version. These still look really, really good. What's unique, the first thing I noticed when I pulled my pair out is I have this little dot there. That's a little imperfection, I guess. It's sort of marked up on the covering that they use to sort of weave the prime knit together around the opening. So the other shoe doesn't have that which is really weird. You can kind of see it right there. This is a brand new colorway, so that's really cool because we went through 2018 with a lot of restocks, um, and the only new colorway that we saw were the butters, other than these, of course. So the butters, I have a pair of the butters right over here. So there's a look at the butters. Uh, those are my pair. I got those back in June. I was able to get them right away, and I really like the butters. I think they look cool. Uh, but other than that, all the other Yeezys that we got were, actually, I'm sorry, I forgot one. The Sesames were brand new. I did a review on the Sesames. The Sesames were brand new. So we saw three new 350 models in 2018. Statics, Butters, and the Sesame. I think, I really like the Butters. That's why I have them. The Sesames, I got rid of them. I picked them up and then I got rid of them. But these ones are cool. There's something new about them. You have this sort of translucent stripe here, which is kind of cool. So you can fool around. People are like, oh, you could wear different socks to fool around with the look. Yeah, I suppose you could. But it's just cool to have a fresh new idea on the 350. I think a lot of people are ready for the 350 V3, just to see what he comes out with. But I think this is a nice fresh take on the most popular 350 model, the V2 right here. So Prime Knit Upper, Yeezy Midsole right there, wrapping around the Ultra Boost material that we have going through the entire uh, outsole. So you can see it right there. Then of course the outsole, that you're covering the boost with this very creamy like, it reminds me of the creams creamy translucent material right here on the bottom. Midsole again has the easy pattern. And then of course, prime knit upper with a stitch down the middle with the heel tab right there. Super comfortable shoe. They're really, they're like walking on some sort of super comfortable foam. Essentially that's what the boost material is. So they're very comfortable. The upper is a little bit tight from right out of the box. I've said that in all my other videos. So the more you wear them, the better they do fit. But that's all there is to it. I think they look good and we'll show you what they look like on feet. So there's a quick look at the Yeezy 350s on feet in the brand new static colorway. I think they look really good. On feet, they look just as good as any other sneaker. They're really different. They've got this unique new sort of look to them. I do like that translucent stripe down the side. I think it looks good. It just brings a fresh take to the shoe itself. I have black socks on, so I mean, I guess that's what it looks like there. I mean, I don't really care. I'm not going to be fooling around with my socks to try and get a new look out of the translucent stripe. I think that's a little ridiculous, but I think the shoe looks really fresh on feet. Brand new colorway, new pattern, something a little bit different. You kind of get a little hit of the stripes that run through there, so that's similar to some of the other Yeezys. You can kind of see it through there. But I really like how they took the prime knit and they weaved it in different patterns so you have different hints of you know gray and white throughout the shoe, and I think it looks really good overall. Sizing, once again, I go true to size. I have absolutely no problem with my true to size, and they fit me the way I like them. I still have enough room in terms of length. They just take a little bit of time to soften up because the prime knit is really sort of structured. Very different than something like an NMD R1. I've gone up half a size before and I didn't like the way they fit as much actually. I just found them too roomy almost, if that makes any sense. I know some people probably won't be able to relate to that. But if you are one of those people that just like a loose fitting casual shoe, go up half a size and that way you won't be complaining about the size later on. For me, I just like my true to size. So half a size, true to size, that's what you can go for if you're interested in a pair of 350s for yourself. I like the laces design with these sort of rope laces with this sort of pattern on them. I think they look really good. And it's just a new cool take on the 350, a model that some people have 
sort of said has gone a little stale just because there's so many colorways of them. But I think they look good and I really like the model. It's my favorite model, that's for sure. I think they look really, really good overall. And uh, I'm happy with them. I think they look really, really cool. And they're a solid release yet again from 350. I mean, they're obviously gonna sell out. People keep saying, oh, Yeezy's dead, Yeezy's dead. But the reality is they're not dead. It's just that there's more available, more, more people can get them. And to be honest, they're selling more now than they ever have, I suppose. Yeah, resale's not the same, but he's still selling and he's giving people what they wanted. They wanted Yeezy's and now you're getting them. So there you go, that's it. That's my review of the Yeezy 350, the statics. So that's pretty much it guys. Mike McIntyre signing off from All Things Sports. Thank you so much for stopping by. Wishing you all a very happy 2019. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can catch me in my next video. And until then, take care.